Hey friends, my name is Rick and welcome to my Cape Cod Life. Today, we're going to show you how to go clamming. I have a couple of my grandkids with me and let's get to it. Say hi Jonah. Hi. And Lillian is being the camera person today. So, I'm using a basket right. I'm going to pick a spot and I'm going to drag into the mud until I feel something down there. Now I'm feeling something. And it feels really smooth. And there you go. That's the clam. Put it in the basket. Something like this. You want to try right here where my, the corner of my basket is? Yeah. All right, you do that over there. Feel it? Yep. Nice. Feel it? Feel it? No, that's a rock. Right in the middle of that crater right there. Okay. There you go. You feel it, right? Now, you know it's a clam because it feels smooth. When it's a rock, it feels really rough. Not just a big rock. Was it? Yeah. Uh, something right here. Oh, no, I can't see. Yeah. I get it. Oh, yeah, it's like deep in there. It's deep in there. I see it right there. See it right there? There you go. Just get up out of the water. That's a that good size quahog. That is mashing. All right, into the basket we go. Jonah is going to demonstrate how we measure with the gauge if a clam is too small. So if it passes through that whole hinge side, it is too small. That is too small. Why don't you grab a small one out of the basket to show him one that's small but still big? So. Like this? Yeah. Down. Yeah, so as long as it doesn't pass through there, which is a one inch at the valve, it's a keeper. So that's how we do that. <laughs> All right, so now we're looking for oysters. Okay. This one's right here. Let's see. There's this one over here. It's empty. All right, so we're going to measure our oysters now. Lillian found this one. This one's questionable. So this is our gauge. The oyster has to be three inches, which is this length. From the tip, that one just is, it's too close to call, so we're going to leave it on the beach. Here's another small one. That's obviously too small. Um, and let's do a proper one. That is a proper sized oyster. That's a nice oyster shape. It has a, a teardrop shape like that, a nice deep cup. That's gonna be a delicious oyster. Cup. All right, Jenna, how do we do? I think we did really good. We got some really big clams yeah. and we got some oysters. Huh? Yeah, I was getting cold. I was done. Yeah. There they are. Um, the bigger ones are, the bigger clams or quahogs are below. We did give a dozen away to my grandchildren's neighbor, Jenny. She's a sweet lady. And then we have half a dozen oysters. It was cold on the beach today, so that's all we got for the oysters. But we had a really great day to friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm glad you made it to the end. Please consider subscribing and liking this video and sharing it. That helps a lot. The grandkids and I had a great time together. Um, and when it's a little bit warmer, we'll do a more in-depth um, how-to on getting clams. So thank you, and remember, my Cape Cod life.